Hello, New Hope, and welcome to uh, day two of our 10 days of prayer and fasting leading up to Fresh Wind, our spiritual emphasis week, June 5 to 8. We're excited to have Manny Arango with us. He is an incredible communicator, and this is just going to be a time for us to uh, come together, to seek the Lord together, to pray, to worship together, and allow the Holy Spirit to do whatever He wants to in us. So here on day two, we're talking about holiness. What is holiness and why is holiness important? To be holy is to be set apart, to be set apart from sin and to be set apart to God. The theological term that we use to describe this is sanctification. It's the process of separating ourselves from that which is evil and surrendering all of our life to the control of the Holy Spirit to become more and more like him. And I want to remind us today that holiness is not an option. It is God's requirement for us. 1 Peter 1, 15 to 16 says that just as he who has called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, be holy because I am holy. God doesn't say be holy and I'll make it worth your while or be holy and I'll bless you. No, he says be holy because I am holy. God is holy. That's his nature. That's his character. And Paul tells us that God chose us. This is Romans eight twenty nine. He chose us to be conformed to the likeness of his son. In 2 Corinthians 3.18, he says, We are being transformed into his likeness with ever-increasing glory, which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. And Hebrews 12.14 says, Make every effort to live in peace with all men and to be holy, for without holiness, no one will see the Lord. The key is change. There is a fundamental change, a transformation that takes place in a believer's life when they give their heart and lives to follow Christ. 2 Peter 2.22 says that a dog returns to its vomit, and a sow that is washed will go back to wallowing in the mud. In both of these cases, the nature of the animal is not changed. The washed pig returns to the mud because that's the nature of a pig. The change was only cosmetic. But when Jesus comes into our lives by his Spirit, he begins the process of changing us from the inside out so that we are empowered to live holy lives, being holy like him in every way. In forestry, spraying the trees for parasites and and pests just doesn't get the coverage that the tree needs to be protected. So they bore into the very heart of the tree and introduce chemicals that mingle with the sap in the tree and circulate to every branch and to every leaf so that that tree is safe from its enemies that could kill it. And that's how the Holy Spirit works in the lives of believers to so indwell us that we become free and safe from our enemy, Satan, and from our own sinful, evil natures. The Holy Spirit's ministry is very much like those chemicals. In order to be effective, the Holy Spirit must have direct access to the innermost parts of our lives to make real spiritual change that will affect every part and every aspect of our lives. You can try as you may to live like Christ, but without the Spirit's work in our lives, we will never uh, be good enough. We will always keep coming up short. Reading about Jesus in Scripture and hearing about Him in a sermon will not enable you to be like Him. Listen, it's, it's not enough to know just know about Jesus. You have to know Him personally. That's what we're talking about, growing to be more like Christ, to allow Him to come into our lives and change us from the inside out, to be holy as He is holy. For without holiness, no one will see the Lord. Let me pray for you. Father, I pray that you would enable us and allow us, God, as we seek after you and search after you and grow to know you in every way. Lord, may your spirit empower us and and come inside of us to change us from the inside out. Let your work uh, take place in our lives to make us more and more like you. We want to live holy lives to be an accurate representation of who you are to the world around us, and to see your Holy Spirit have your way in us, to do in us what you want to do. We pray all of this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Church, you're amazing. Looking so forward to what God has in store for us. Take time to be with him today, and we look forward to seeing you soon. God bless you.